So the sun is shining today, though you probably can't tell because I'm in the shade. And since I'm in the backyard and I do not want the sun blasting into my eyeballs, I have to sit like this so you can see me. Because there's not a whole lot of places I can set up the video camera so that you can actually just see my face instead of a full body shot. And when you put this much makeup on, you want people to see your face. Also, see my pretty necklace? It's choking the fuck out of me. I'm exhausted. But I'm happy because, well, I'm sort of happy. I'm happy because I believe that we have come upon a way to make me healthier. But it's going to be a real bitch. Because I'm going to have to severely change lifestyle and and it's just a pain in the ass. To find truly gluten free crap and when I say gluten I don't just mean wheat and barley I mean every grain, including corn and rice. To find food that doesn't have any trace of any of those things is going to be difficult. And not even meat is safe for me, because guess what? If they've been stuffing their bellies full of grains, I'm going to know because there are people who are gluten intolerant and there are people who are gluten sensitive and then there's me who can look at a picture of flour and have a three day migraine. I'm one of those acute people and it's taken 36 years to figure that out. But I am happy because at least now I have some hope and I had lost hope. My mother's death did not help. Um, kind of lost hope in everything, not just in maybe a day in the future when I would not feel quite so hellish, but just a day, I, I gave up hope of ever feeling not sick, angry, depressed. Pretty much believing that I have already died at some point and am in hell and nobody has bothered to inform me of it. And for those of you who have never felt it, I'm very happy for you and I hope you never do feel it. But to feel truly hopeless is hell. And I'm not talking about having a bad day. I am talking about pure and utter despair, desperation, all the things bullies like to make fun of quote emos for. It took me a while to figure out what the fuck that meant either. I'm like, emus? Aren't those birds? And then I'm like, oh, it's short for emotional. Well, unless you're a fucking robot, doesn't that describe everybody? I don't give a goddamn if you're a preppy fucking football player and shit. You still have emotions, so fuck you. Just another goddamn label people use to hurt one another with. Uh, see, and that's part of what makes me feel hopeless. And so in some respects, I do still feel that way, is that... Okay, there is a theory from a particular book that states our greatest gifts are adversities and conflicts and all that shit because that is when we grow. 
And of course, the individuals who think that these are gifts are not humans. Because they ain't going through it. Get away from me. But, the theory, again, is that you will be continuously put into... Get away! I'm not a flower! You will be continuously put into situations and have to deal with individuals that irritate the shit out of you. And after this life, in continuing afterlife episodes, you will not miss out on this glorious opportunity because you will be put together with individuals from other planets, other galaxies, other levels of being that you will find utterly repugnant. And this terrifies me because I can't even get along with my fellow called humans. How the hell am I supposed to get along with Cupar from Quasimodoville number five on Vlaston three. I don't know. That escalated quickly. <sighs> anyway. So, yeah. Hope. When you have hope, don't ever, 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 ever let it go. As long as you have hope, as long as you have hope, you actually have so much. And at least I have a little bit of hope now. And coincidentally, the sun is shining today and it hasn't in quite some time. So... Chew on that. Bye. <laughs>